All right, so uh, this is how we create the uh, parametric profile using sketch parametric cross-section. So from here, uh, in our menu, go to this editor, or no, go to this catalog, and then define profiles. And then you will find here the define cross-section in sketch editor. Okay, look. So another editor will uh, will come in. This is the cross section sketch editor view. Okay. So you have this uh, variable here where you can put the formula, all right? And then you have this uh, sketch browser, and this is your um, sketch editor where you can uh, sketch the uh, the profile shape. So by default, this one is showing the uh, the grid but of course if we follow that grid for our sketch then that one is the size of our uh, profile it's too big so what we can do is uh, we can approximately zoom in okay so if this one is uh, 250 then maybe uh, this will be the approximate size of our profile but anyway later once we create our uh, profile we can change the uh, the size of that one since we're talking about a uh, parametric cross-section okay so we'll start with our uh, uh, sketch polyline so sketch polyline meaning you can you can just simply do the sketch or uh, make a straight one or even it's not straight it's okay so this one is my uh, sketch let's say I'm going to create a planks with jumper right so make it sure that when you do the sketch don't close it don't close it. You can close this one using our coincident constraint. Okay? So meaning, if I click on this one, so you must click, you must pick this end point to the other end point, and then that's make you make it close. Okay? So the next thing to do is make it sure that this one is a straight one horizontally and straight it make it straight it vertically so using our uh, horizontal and vertical constraint so horizontal constraint click this one and pick the horizontal line even though it looks like horizontal just simply click on that also the uh, vertical constraint pick this one and then pick this one so it becomes straight all right now it's time to to us it's time for us to to make this one parametric so by adding the dimensions, so here, I have the sketch horizontal distance. So this is the first dimensions, which is 3,873. But again, since this one is the, uh, the variable, I can change this, this value now in our formula. So instead of this, I'll just simply change this one to 2,000, which is the size of our uh, mm -hmm. uh, plants okay and for the height is the same thing I can just simply pick this one for the vertical and then the planks will be let's say 90 okay so this one now is the actual size of our plants now how about the chamfer here how can we control the chamfer so for the chamfer of this one it's always 45 degrees right Okay, so in that case, all you have to do is uh, double click on this one. You can see here on our uh, sketch browser, the chamfer constraint, just double click on this. And then you can see here the chamfer properties and change this one to this. And then let's say, make it uh, 40, 40. So 40, 40 is just uh, the value that I, I can put. But any, anyway, later on, we can change that value because it's parametric. Okay, so go back to this uh, or go to the next point and then change again this one to jumper 40, 40, modify. Okay, so now I have the jumper. So how to control the jumper? Here, as you can see, I have this uh, B1 and H1. So B1, make it show and this one show so that I can change that one in our uh, 
in our uh, catalog. And then I can put a label, what is this B1? Let's say the width of the planks. Okay, let's say a plank width. And then this one is uh, planks height. And then I'm going to add parameter now. And this one will be the chamfer. And what is the value of our chamfer? 40. And show. So show, show, and show. So meaning if, if this one, the visibility is shown, meaning I can see that one in my uh, catalog database or profile database. Okay? So now, the next thing to do is uh, equate this P1 to the chamfer. All right, so for this one, select the chamfer. You can see here it will highlight the chamfer constraint and then expand that one. I have the chamfer X and then the chamfer Y. So the chamfer X must be equals to what? P, P1. P1. Chamfer Y is equals to P1. Again, select the other chamfer. So it will highlight again here in our sketch browser. Add equation P1, Y, add equation P1. Let's see if that one works. If I change this one to 20, look what will happen. So I can control that one now. So 40. And then if this one is uh, 70, so here, I have the ability to, to change the, uh, the chamfer, the height, or even the, the width of this one. If I put this one 1,200, so that one is the planks width. Okay, so if you're okay with this one, you simply close it, say yes, and then put the prefix. So what will be the prefix? Let's say the prefix is RBI. Okay, and then click OK. So now, from here in our uh, um, concrete, you can use the beam, right? So beam. So in this case, go to the profile. So just simply uh, filter the RBI, and then you will find this RBI here. Okay. And then, plank width, plank height, chamfer. So I'll, I'll, I'll accept this value, apply, and OK. And then, pick this point, and there you go. You have now the planks. And with, if you double click on this one, I can change this one to 2400, enter. So I have now the planks here. And you can call that one inside the slab layout. Mm -hmm. This is how you create the uh, profile using the sketch parametric cross-section or sketch editor. Okay, now, um, another thing is, in this case, if you go to this uh, profile, you can see that uh, RVI here, there is no picture. How to add the picture here? Okay. So to add the picture here, all you have to do is maybe you can make a snapshot of that part or if you are uh, good in uh, using the uh, paintbrush, okay, so you can use the paintbrush. So let's say for example, in this case, I will just simply uh, make a uh, sample uh, here. Let's say this. Zoom in. Okay, and then here I will just simply uh, okay create this this uh, line, and then let's say trim this one, trim this one. Shall I just do it quickly? Okay, so let's say this is the one, and then uh, I'll use this, and then use this one, and now 
I can use now my uh, dimensions. So from here, so add this line and then add this line. Okay. And then for the chamfer. Alright, so uh, here you can just simply put the A, B, and C. If you go back to this one, so you can see here I have B1, H1, and P1. Okay, I can use that, I can use this uh, symbol. Okay, B1 is the width, so go back again to this. This one, I just simply type here B1. The other one is what? H1. And then this one is B1. And that's it. So, So from here, select and then crop. And then where to save this one? Look, I go to the file, save as, bitmap picture. Okay, I'm going to save this one under the uh, C, Tecla Structures, 2019, bitmaps. And then what will be the file name? The file name, I'll just type here RVI. The prefix, just use the prefix. And once you save that one, close it. So if you go back again to this, and then click the profile. So this one must have this. B1, S1, and P1. So if anybody from the company wants to use the profile, they know that this RVI is the profile for the plants. So this is how you create your parametric cross-section.